students in this class we will be discussing about the combination of resistances or resistors we can say it as combination of resistors resistors can be connected in series combination or they can be connected in what parallel combination okay so one is what series combination another thing is what parallel combination so we can connect resistances or resistors if i have one resistor then no problem isn't it so if i have two or more than two resistances or resistors okay so if i have two or more than two resistors or resistances so then comes the combination of resistors or resistances we can say it as okay so now if i have two resistances or resistors so so i can connect them in series or in parallel okay so uh, it is said as well, one combination is called a series combination other combination is called a parallel combination now what is series combination and what is parallel combination okay so we will, we will see that first okay so now if i have two resistors Now, R1, R2, R3, all three are in parallel. 
parallel combination or parallelly connected to each other. Okay, so this is how I can have a uh, uh, parallel combination of resistances. Uh, so and so. Okay, so now series is end to end connection. Parallel is what? Uh, both the ends should be connected together. Okay, so this is how I have to go for the series combination of resistances and parallel combination of resistances. When it comes to uh, electronic circuits, so we have to simplify. We have to simplify. If I have the resistors, three of the resistors connected like this, or three of the resistors connected in series. Series of parallel it may be okay. So if I have some circuit wherein I have multiple resistances connected in series, parallel, like that and okay. So to uh, simplify the circuit, to simplify the electronic circuit, to find out what is the amount of current which is flowing and what is the applied voltage. Okay, so we will be knowing about the applied voltage what we have given. Okay. So then how much current flows through it and how in what all uh, places what all current will go. That and all is done by the simplification of electronic circuits. By simplifying electronic circuits, we have to go through all these things of combination of resistances to find the total resistance. To find what? Total resistance. That total resistance is the word for effective resistance. What is that? Effective resistance. Effective. Effective resistance or effective resistance we will say it as effective resistance or total resistance. We have to find out. So for that thing, so we will be going for all these things of series and parallel combination and how to find the total resistance or effective resistance for your series combination of resistors and parallel combination of resistors. Is that okay? Yes. So now we will see uh, for resistances or resistors connected in series. So if I have, uh, so uh, we are uh, like uh, uh, now we are all aware of what is series combination of resistance and what is parallel combination of resistance, isn't it? So now we will go for series combination of resistance and how to find the total or effective resistance. Okay. So now here, when I connect two of the resistors, okay. So I have a taken two resistors connected in series here. Okay. So I have resistance R1 and resistance R2. So I have given both the resistances to a voltage source of voltage. How many volts? V volts. Okay, so this has got a voltage uh, of V volts, and I have connected a DC voltage source to two resistors connected in series. So I have given so and so, and uh, what happens here is so when uh, resistors connect, then we have uh, multiple resistors connected in series. So what happens is so when we apply this voltage, current starts to flow, isn't it? So we, when I apply this voltage. The current I starts to flow like this from positive of the battery towards what negative of the battery, isn't it? So likewise the current flows. So what happens to the current? We will see first. Okay. So the current through remains same or current through the series combination of resistances. Current flowing through the series combination of resistance remains same. Is that okay? So here I have one part. So I have only one pass for your current, is it? So the current remains same throughout the circuit. Okay, so here you have I, here also it will be I, here also it will be I. It will be circulating like this. Okay, so current always, whenever I have resistances connected in series, the current through the series combination of resistance remains same. The current which flows through R1 is same, the current which flows through R2 is same. Is that okay? Or in the sense, the series combination, if I have resistances connected in series, the, the current which will, be, which will be flowing through the resistance, like through the circuit, is remaining same. So I have only really one current that is I. Is that okay? So this is how I can say for the current. And about the voltage, so this is the total voltage or EMF what I have applied. Okay, so that is V volts. Okay. So now what happens to voltage is Obviously, last class we have seen this, isn't it? So, uh, if I have two resistances connected like this, so I haven't mentioned what combination is that, isn't it? So now we are saying that that combination is what? Series combination of resistances, isn't it? So we have series combination of resistances. 
So here, what happens is voltage divides across the series resistors. What is that? Voltage divides. So I have, I have, I have signed this, isn't it? So if I have one chalk piece, so I have to give it to two of the persons. Then I have to divide it, isn't it? I have to break it into two pieces, and I have to give it to two of the people, isn't it? So likewise, so what happens is voltage divides across series resistors. Voltage always divides across series resistors. So what happens? Voltage, voltage divides across series resistors. Okay. And the voltage from. So how much voltage divides? Okay. So that is one thing. Okay. So we know that applied voltage will be divided across two of the series connected resistors. If I have two resistors. Okay. If I have three, uh, the applied voltage will be divided across three of the resistors. Is that okay? Yes. So now, how much will be the voltage flow? How much will be the voltage flow? Obviously, voltage divides. Okay. Yes. Voltage flow means voltage applied voltage will be divided across the individual resistances. Isn't it? Yes. Now, total of voltage or voltage drop depends. How much voltage will be drop here? How much voltage will be drop here? So, if I have to find that thing, so then it depends on the resistance or the resistors. Okay. So, how much voltage will drop here? It depends on this resistance. How much voltage will drop here? It depends on this resistance. Is that clear? Okay. So depending on the capacity of the resistances, so the voltage will be dropped. Is that okay? Is that okay? So now V1 is the voltage drop across what? Resistance R1. I can write V1 as what? Voltage drop across resistance R1 and V2 as the voltage drop across resistor R2. Is that okay? So V1 is the voltage drop across resistor R1 and V2 is the voltage drop across resistor R2. Fine. So this is how I can have different different voltage drop across different different resistance of the resistors. How is that? How is that? We know that V is equal to I into R depending on the uh, like what's that? R like this is what is this? This is Ohm's law, isn't it? Isn't it or not? Correct or not? So by Ohm's law, we you know that voltage applied is directly proportional to the current flowing through the circuit or current flowing through the circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied and R being the constant of resistance that is what is called resistance of the circuit or resistance of your total resistance we can say in the uh, flow path. Okay, so total resistance is the flow path of the current. Okay, so I can say it as uh, that thing. Okay, so now if I have uh, this uh, resistance of R1 and if I have resistance of R2, so now how I can say how much voltage will be drop here, how much voltage will be drop here will be dependent on the resistance or resistors capacitor or resistance. Resistors, resistance will decide the voltage drop out here and out here. Okay, so how I can say that? So if I have two of the persons, okay, so if I have two kids, okay, if I have two kids, okay, so if I have uh, uh, something like, uh, yeah, I have, um, if I have two uh, kids, okay, so one kid is what? A uh, small kid, one kid is small, another kid is what? So he is uh, elder to the smaller kid, okay. So if I have, so one person is 10 years old, one person is 15 years old, okay. Uh, then I have to uh, give some weight, or uh, if I have to give them some um, books, notebooks to carry from one place to other place, okay. So I have many books here, I have to give them um, books to carry from one place to other place. So then, how I can give? So this is a uh, younger kid, and he is a little bit elder than him, isn't it? So he is 15 years old, he is 10 years old. So then, how I can give? So how uh, I have to see for how much books I can give it to this person or this person? If I give some uh, three books to carry to this person, then I can give little more to him, isn't it? So I can give some 6 books or I can give some 5 books to him. So I can't give something like this. I can't give 5 books to him and 3 books to him, isn't it? So I should see for the 
capacity of the person, isn't it? So the capacity of this person or this kid is less. He is elder, isn't it? He is elder than him. So then he can carry little more because he has got uh, little more energy than this person. He is 15 years old, he is 10 years old. So he can carry more than this person. Then I have to give some 5 books to him. Three books to him. So then they will be carrying them from one place to another place and they are making my work done. Is that it? Is that okay? So this is where this uh, example I can take for the resistors also. Okay. So if I have resistor R of some resistance and resistance R2 of some resistance, so then it depends on the resistor's resistance how much voltage it can drop. Fine? Is that okay? So how much voltage it can drop depends on the value of resistance. Is that okay? Fine? Fine or not? So more the resistance, more will be the voltage drop. So like uh, have it in your mind clearly, more the value of resistance, more will be the voltage drop. When we have more resistance, current will be less, voltage drop will be more. Is that okay? Fine or not? Okay. So, more the resistance opposition for your current will be more. So, then current uh, density or what we can say current will be, uh, the current which will be flowing will be less. Okay. So, less current will flow if I have more resistance here and here. Okay. So, more the value of resistance, that much voltage will be dropped. Means, more the value of resistance, more voltage will be dropped across that individual resistor and if less resistance if I have, less will be the voltage dropped across that particular or individual resistance. Is that okay? Find out what? Okay. So it is, uh, so this I can, uh, this that thing uh, like uh, I have said uh, about some dig in a row. So if I have, so I have given this example in previous class, isn't it? So I have a road, I have a road and uh, water is flowing. I have two digs here. I have a small dig here. I have a large dig. Fine. So here I have small dig here. Here I have a large dig. So that water is flowing like this. Okay. So the water is flowing like this. So when the water comes here, it will be stored. Okay. Some of the water will be stored here. After that, remaining water will flow here and. Some water will be again, some more water will be stored here and the main water will flow like this. Isn't it? Correct or not? Okay. So when I have this water which will be flowing, so so here uh, I can say that water flowing has got current. When I have applied certain voltage, so water starts to flow. I have a dig, dig in the sense opposition for the flow of current. So that is resistance. I can say this as what? Resistance R1 and this dig as what? Having some greater resistance R2. This uh, dig will be having certain resistance. Means small dig if I have, small will be the voltage drop. Small will be the water stored. If I have small dig on the road, little water will be stored. If I have larger dig on the road, larger means more will, more will be the water which will be stored in the dip, isn't it? Okay, so here I have more water stored, here I have less water stored and how, why it is more water here? Because the dip is larger, it's uh, uh, like it can store lot of water, so that dip is larger, this is what small dip, so it can contain only a small amount of water, so, so that depends on what? The size or size of the dip so much water will be dropped, so much voltage will be dropped. Is that okay? So, smaller the value of or smaller the dip, smaller will be the water, means less will be the water stored. Larger the dip, more will be the water stored. So, in that context, I can say less the resistance, less will be the voltage drop. More the resistance, more will be the voltage drop. Now it is clear, is that clear or not? Okay, so having that thing in your mind, I can say if I have resistance of resistance R1 and resistance R2 of resistance means 
means resistance R2. If I have some resistance R1, whose resistance is lesser than resistance of R2. Okay, so then I can say here less voltage will be dropped, here more voltage will be dropped. Is that clear? Is that okay? Fine. Okay, so it depends on individual resistance or individual resistor which decides how much voltage it is going to drop. Okay, applied total voltage will be divided across individual resistances and that voltage drop depends on what the value of resistance. More the value of resistance, more will be the voltage drop. Less the value of resistance, less will be the voltage drop across that individual or that particular resistance or resistor. Okay, so resistor is the component. Resistance is the property of this resistor to oppose the flow of electric current. Fine? Is that okay? Yes. So this is how I can go for. So now this total circuit, I can write this total circuit as what? In this simplified form, how I can make out this? So I can consider resistance of R1 and resistance of R2 as what? Single resistance, that is called as what? Effective resistance or total resistance, I can say it as. Okay, effective resistance of the combination, I can say both the resistances are connected in series, isn't it? So that's what I will call that as what? RS or resistances connected in series. R S, I can call it as okay. So, so means total resistance can be called as what? Total resistance can be called as what? When resistances are connected in series, I can uh, name that as what? R S means series resistance of series combination of resistances. I can say it as. Otherwise, I can say it as what? R effective. R E F F. Okay. So R effective also, also I can say it as okay. So now uh, when two of the resistances are connected in series, so the total resistance. This total resistance can be made into single resistance or single resistor. So this is how I can simplify the circuit from this uh, larger view into a smaller view. Okay. So means in the sense this is little bit complicated. Now this is simpler, isn't it? So this is where I can go for simplification. So two of the resistances connected in series, I can uh, simplify that. So it means I can simplify the resistances connected in series and I can make the combination of two of the resistances connected in series as for single resistance. So where I have made some simplification. So I can call that resistance as what RS or series combination of resistance. Or also I can call it as what effective resistance and effective. Okay. So in this way I have this series combination of resistances. Okay. So uh, this is how I have simplified circuit from uh, this circuit to this circuit and this is what is called series combination of resistance RS and this is the same voltage which has been applied which, like uh, which I have given here the same voltage I have given here also so then here the current I flows the same amount of current will flow as that of this here fine so this is how I can go for the series combination of resistance and how I have to make out the total resistance so effective resistance how to calculate the total resistance across series combination of resistances? How I can uh, what will be the value of RS? If I have resistances R1 and R2 connected in series, the total resistance can be made out using what well, like uh, how I can simplify that using what formula I can simplify that so that we are going to find now. Okay, so now effective resistance of series combination of resistances. Okay, so like that. So if like uh, how like so now we will see, so the applied voltage will be divided across this and this. So then I can write the total voltage as what? V will be equal to V1 plus V2. Isn't it or not? Okay. So the applied voltage will be divided across this resistance and this resistance. So then total voltage will be what? So voltage across these two points. What is that? Potential difference will be what? V volts. Isn't it? Here it is V volts. Here it is V volts. Here it is V volts. Here and here it is V volts. Here and here it is V volts. Here and here it is again V volts, isn't it? So now V is equal to V1 plus V2. Correct or not? So the applied voltage will be equal to what? V1 plus V2. I can write it as total. I mean, applied voltage will be dropped across 
the series combination of resistances. Okay, so drop the resistance divided across the series combination of resistances. So then total voltage I can write it as what V is equal to what V one plus V two. So that is equation one. Okay, in this way I can go uh, for the simplification or uh, calculation of effective resistance. Okay, so V will be equal to V one plus V two by this uh, voltage uh, dividing. Okay, so applied voltage, total voltage will be divided across individual resistances. Okay, so we know that that is why we are we will be writing it as what we will be equal to what V one plus V two. So that we will take we will take it as what equation one. Now by applying Ohm's law to each of the resistances or resistors. So if I apply Ohm's law here and Ohm's law here, okay, so individually if I if I apply Ohm's law here, so how I can write V one as how I can write V two as So I can write V1 will be equal to what is the current which will be flowing? We have said that current flowing through the resistances will be same. So same current will be flowing. So then there is no uh, question of different different current. Only uh, uh, one current which will be flowing. So then I can take it as what I am saying. So when I have this V1, so how I can write for V1? V1 will be equal to I into R1. I can write it. So my first law will be writing it as what V is equal to I into R, isn't it? So now my voltage is what V one. So it is across which resistance? R one resistance. So then I can write it as what V one will be equal to I into R one. Correct? Clear or not? Okay. Yes. So likewise, I can write the uh, by applying Ohm's law, I can write the voltage drop across V one or V one. I can write it as what V one will be equal to I into R one. And V2 I can write as what I into R2. So this I will write it as equation two and equation three. Now if I substitute the value of V1 and V2 in equation one, so what I get is V will be equal to I into R1 plus I into R2. V1 will be equal to what I into R1. V2 will be equal to what I into R2. So if I take I over here, so then what it will be? V will be equal to I into R1 plus R2. I can write it as, isn't it? So I will be taking it as what equation four now. Okay. So now if I how to write? So if R is R effective is effective resistance of series combination of resistors. Okay. Okay. Then by applying means if R is, I will be taking it as what total total resistance or effective resistance. Okay, so if I take R S as the number, R F T as the effective resistance of series combination of resistances. So then, by applying Ohm's law, what I can write is if I have total resistance R S which has been connected. So then, if I apply for certain resistance, now for this circuit, how I can write uh, like how I can write for V using Ohm's law? So here, if I have if I am applying Uh, Ohm's law. So then, how I can write for V here? Here, resistance is what R S, isn't it? So I can write it as what V is equal to I into R S. What I will be writing, isn't it? So V will be I into R S for this circuit. Okay, for this circuit, if it means equivalent circuit, we'll be calling it as okay. So uh, we can write and we can say this circuit is what equivalent circuit of this circuit. Okay, this circuit is what equivalent circuit of this circuit. Is that okay? Yes. So here, uh, if I apply Ohm's law, so I can write as what V will be equal to I into R S. Clear or not? Because the resistance, total resistance is what R S here, isn't it? So I can write V will be equal to I into R S. So that is what I have written, and I will be taking this as what equation five. Okay. So now, if I equate, if I equate equation four and five. If I equate equation four and five, I can write that as what I into R S because V here it is V. The same voltage has been given here, isn't it? This is equal to this, isn't it? Equating these two equations four and five, I can write it as what I into R S will be equal to I into R one plus R two. I can write it as okay. Yeah. So after this, I can take out I. Okay, I is on both sides. Okay, same current is flowing. So then I will be cancelling I, I. So then I can write the total resistance. I can write the total resistance of the 
resistors connected in series as what? What is that? Rs will be equal to R1 plus R2. So this will be the final equation. This will be the final equation. So what this equation will tell us? The total resistance or effective resistance of the series combination of resistors will be equal to what? Sum of individual resistances. Clear? Okay. So when I have two resistances connected in series, the total resistance address will be equal to what? R1 plus R2. Is that okay? If I have R1 of certain ohms and R2 of certain ohms, so then I can write the total resistance as what? R1 plus R2. So for example, if I have this resistor or this resistance as what? Some 100 ohms. And if I have another resistance of what? 200 ohms. So then I can write the total resistance of what? 100 ohms plus 200 ohms. That will be equal to how much? How much it is? 300 ohms will be the total resistance. If I have 100 ohms of R1, 200 ohms of R2, then total resistance RS will be equal to what? 100 plus 400. That is 300 ohms of resistance, total resistance. So then uh, finally what, uh, like what we can conclude is uh, total resistance of the series combination of resistance can be said as what? Sum of individual resistances. So uh, and always series combination of resistances, the total resistance will be uh, what uh, is that uh, important thing what I can say it as. So here I will be going for so I can say that point uh, after uh, going for uh, parallel combination of resistances also. Okay. So now after doing this, okay, uh, what I can say is total resistance will be larger than the largest resistance. If I have R2 is what larger resistance, R1 has got lesser resistance. So what I can say is total resistance means what this resistance plus this resistance. Total resistance will be obviously larger than the largest resistor which is there. Isn't it or not? So that is one of the things. Okay. So this applies very good when I like when we go for parallel combination of resistors there some different thing will happen. Okay. So then we can make out that as a conclusion point. Okay. Fine. Yes. So now in general, in general I can write some equation as Rs will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus like that it will go up to up to I can say it as what up to dash 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 up to um, Rn okay so up to Rn it will go so this is how I can go for final equation of series combination of resistances okay so Rs series resistance or effective resistance are effective also I can take it as per millimeters so that will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 dash 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 it will go up to Rn okay so that n is number of number of resistance okay so number of resistor I can say that so that n is what number of resistance so this is first resistance this is second resistance third resistance likewise I can have any number of resistances Connected in series, I can sum all the individual resistance uh, values and I can write that as what total resistance or effective resistance um, as K. Okay. So, this is the uh, equation for parallel and series combination of resistances for two resistances connected in series. And this is a general equation what I can write up to like any number of resistances we can have in series. So, I can write the total resistance as what RS will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 up to Rn. Okay? Is that okay? Fine. So this is all about series combination of resistances.